Hey, there's four things you need to know if you're looking to sell or buy a home in the Tacoma area or Pierce County. First thing that you need to know is there is 593 homes that sold in the last 30 days. That number is important because it's basically telling us the activity of the last 60 days. So 30 days before that, those homes went pending. Those homes are pending and then ultimately closed. It tells us that homes that are coming to the market are selling, but let's talk about how many that are currently pending that have, that have come to the market in the last 30 days that have gone pending or so. Well, there's 577. So those numbers are pretty close together, which is very important because they're kind of telling us what's the pace and what's the cadence of homes coming to the market and then being sold, which then lends itself to, well, we need to know, well, how many homes have come to the market in the last 30 days? And that's that third piece of information that's very, very important to know. And there are 440 homes that have come to the market in the last 30 days. All of those numbers are telling us a very good story about the Tacoma Pierce County market. That means homes are coming to the market, they're going pending, and if they're priced pretty right, they're ultimately gonna be selling. And that's when we get to this fourth piece of information that's important to know, that homes basically are selling at 98.3% of list price. So to kind of filter through all that information to make sense of it, it's saying, hey, if the homes are coming and they're priced pretty right, then they're coming off the market. They're, they're selling at basically the price of which they're being listed for. Obviously, some are gonna be priced too high. The you know, seller has expectations just a little bit beyond what the market's to bear. Those are getting adjusted. Some of those numbers are talking about some type of concessions that might be being made, like seller's concessions to help buyers pay down closing costs or maybe pay down their interest rate. All of those things are beginning to factor into that. But what those numbers are definitely telling us that in Tacoma, Pierce County, home prices aren't crashing. They're just not crashing. They're moving along at a pretty good clip, especially for this time of year. Hey, so if this information was helpful for you and you wanna jump on my calendar to discuss maybe the right time for you, well, click on my link in the description. We'll be able to discover what's the best time for you to buy or sell in the Tacoma Pierce County area.